Hi all. So welcome to the next uh, discussion on the theory of scattering, the quantum theory of scattering. Today uh, we'll have a very brief uh, discussion of bond series. Okay. So recall uh, this is an approximation method to find uh, the wave function of uh, uh, the, the quantum particle in scattering problem. Okay. So we have uh, already know that uh, the wave function of the total wave function of particles in uh, a quantum theory of scattering can be written as uh, the sum of the incident wave function and uh, the scattering wave function, whereas the scattering wave function can be written as minus mu upon 2 pi h bar square without um, any asymptotic limit. I can write uh, this can be raised to ik modulus of r minus r prime divided by modulus of r minus r prime v of r prime psi of r prime d cube r prime okay so if you have uh, an asymptotic limit it is uh, possible to simplify this expression okay so uh, for the discussion of bond series there is no need to go for any asymptotic limit we can take a uh, the, the complete expression for our discussion. Okay, now let us uh, suppose uh, the scattering is very weak in such a way that um, no scattering happens. Okay, so um, assume the scattering is very weak. So if the scattering is very weak, then what would be that your total wave function? If the scattering is very weak, then the total wave function would be uh, same as the incident wave function. That's it. Okay. And what is the form of incident wave function? The incident wave function we can write some e raised to i k dot r. Okay. So better I just putting the symbol k zero in order to represent this incident. Okay. So if if there is no scattering at all, or if the scattering is very weak then your wave function would be approximated as uh, the incident wave function. And uh, therefore this uh, wave function I'm representing as psi zero of r. So this is a zeroth order approximation of your wave function. Okay, so this is called the zeroth order approximation. So in the zeroth order, the wave function take the form of the zeroth order the wave function psi zero of r take the form e raised to i k zero dot r. Okay, now what would be the first order approximation? So in the first order approximation, if you look at this expression, this is a total wave function, the expression for total wave function. Here there is an expression for incident wave function minus mu upon integral. And here there is uh, again, psi coming here now instead of the psi of r prime we can put psi zero of r prime so if you're putting psi zero of r prime instead of psi of r prime then it is called the first order approximation so in the first order approximation first order approximation. So in the first order approximation, the wave function can be written as psi one of R and that would be equal to the incident wave function psi in of R minus mu upon two pi h cut square integral e raised to i k modulus of r minus r prime divided by modulus of r minus r prime v of r prime instead of psi of r prime i'll be putting psi zero of r prime d cube r prime okay so i think um, you have got the idea how to put uh, this approximation so in the first order approximation, your wave function can be written in this way. Then what would be the second order approximation? 
So in the second order approximation, instead of this psi of r, I will put psi one of r prime. Okay, instead of psi of r prime, I will put psi one of r prime. So there we can get the second order approximation. Then how will you get the third order, order approximation? Instead of psi of r prime, I will be putting psi two. So I can just write the second order here. I think with that, uh, that would be enough. The second order approximation. Better we can have another color. So second order approximation, I can put psi two of r, but psi two of r can be written as psi in of r minus mu upon two pi h cut square integral a raised to i k more or less of r minus r prime divided by more or less of r minus r prime v of r prime instead of psi zero i'll be putting psi one of r prime d cube r prime and how will you get psi one of r prime psi one of r prime is just we can substitute this expression Okay. Okay, so therefore uh, this can be written as psi i n of r minus mu upon two pi h cut square integral e raised to i k modulus of r minus r prime divided by modulus of r minus r prime v of r prime. Now we have to write psi one of r prime and our psi one of r prime will get from here. Okay. So we can put some equation numbers over here. This can be equation number one, our origin equation. And zeroth order approximation can be equation number two, the first order equation number three. This can be equation number four. Now I have to substitute equation number three in equation number four. So from so this can be nice. Okay, from equation number three, this becomes psi. Okay, psi one of r prime. So this becomes psi i n of r prime minus mu upon two pi h cut square integral e raised to i k modulus of instead of r i have to put r prime minus r double prime divided by modulus of r prime minus r double prime I think um, you are okay with why I am putting this kind of notations because this is the psi one of r prime okay whereas in equation number three is psi one of r so if you are putting psi one of r prime this become r prime and here r yeah all r you have to replace with r prime so therefore r prime has to be replaced by some other variable so that variable i am putting as r double prime and uh, this uh, uh, potential the potential become v of r double prime then psi zero of r double prime over d cube r double prime 
and uh, there should be integral of this also over tr prime that would be the complete uh, the form of the wave function in the second order okay so similarly now we can have the third order approximation it is instead of uh, uh, psi of r in equation psi of r prime equation number one i can put psi two of r prime that we can get uh, the third order okay so this way we can have a series solution so we'll get a very uh, bigger expression when you're going for a higher order approximations okay so this um, kind of uh, method to find um, the wave function approximate is called bond series so here i have just uh, explained uh, how to write the wave function in the zeroth order zeroth order is very simple zeroth order wave function is same as your incident wave function okay and in the first order what i will do is um, uh, for the wave function on the right hand side i will replace this wave function with the zeroth order wave function okay so that is called the first order approximation of wave function and in the second order approximation what i will put is i will put um, uh, the first order solution in into the uh, the rhs of equation number 1 so in this way we can have a, a big series when you are going for the the higher order okay so this uh, kind of series okay we can have um, uh, in general for nth order also and uh, we'll get a, a series containing very large number of uh, integration okay so this is called bond series so um, in the next class what we'll do is we'll uh, just discuss um, uh, the first order bond series or bond approximation in detail and we'll also discuss the validity of uh, the first bond approximation okay so for the time being we are stopping it here so uh, you can um, do it yourself you can convince yourself that uh, what i have written here is uh, correct okay so do um, all the steps uh, carefully so in the next class uh, we'll uh, discuss in detail about the first bond approximation okay so we can stop it here so thank you for watching bye